Hi there, superstars. A lot of back and forth talk about vitamin D. You know that vitamin, we've been talking about it for a really long time, but is a fat soluble vitamin responsible for so many different aspects of our immune system. And this little guy has been getting beaten up, I think, when it comes to coverage, with some people saying to replace it, some saying not to replace it. Here's the story, vitamin D is important for immunity. We have study after study that shows how vitamin D plays a critical role in adaptive immunity and in our overall immune responsiveness. Furthermore, we know that people with darker skin have issues with absorption of vitamin D. And in many regions of the world, India, Africa, for example, we do seem to uh, notice that vitamin D absorption and vitamin D levels are not where they need to be. Also in our children, I've got a couple of different studies published here. Endocrinology practice, it talks about the need for vitamin D replacement. And the other one is from uh, the Journal of Pediatric Healthcare that talks about the need for vitamin D deficiency in lower respiratory tract infections. I've seen some coverage where people are saying that you don't need vitamin D, you need to get a level first. All of that is true to a point. It is important to know your levels, but again, most of us are deficient in vitamin D and the levels set conventionally are not meeting the needs of today and definitely not meeting the needs of COVID-19 when our levels need to be super optimized to help immune function. So tons of studies on vitamin D and their role in the immune system and adaptive immunity. You can Google it, you can look on PubMed, but really a critical nutrient when it comes to immune function, really important when it comes to autoimmunity as well. We know that so many diseases of inflammation also are connected to vitamin D deficiency. And then so many cases of obesity seem to have a concurrent low level of vitamin D. So there's something going on with vitamin D. We need it. It seems to be low in our high risk populations, especially when we're having this conversation about COVID-19. So I believe in it. I think it's important. If you haven't had it checked recently, you should have it checked. But if it's hard to get into the doctor, at least take a little bit of vitamin D. It can be just 2000 units a day, and that is not going to cause any form of vitamin D toxicity. I hope that's helpful information. I know there's a lot of discussion about it back and forth. It can get so confusing, but the truth, remember, is usually in the middle. Stay super powered. I will talk to you guys soon.